Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve one problem based on strain energy. Let's read the question one time. A bar of 100 cm in length is subjected to an axial pull such that maximum stress is equal to 150 MN per meter square. The length of the bar is given as 100 cm. It is subjected to an axial pull. You can see that on both of the sides we are having the axial pull. The maximum stress is given 150 MN per meter square. Area of the cross section is given for the 95 cm. The area of the cross section is 2 cm square and for the middle 5 cm portion it is only 1 cm square. Here we can come to conclusion that the middle portion is small because we are having the lesser area. If E Young's modulus is 200 GN per meter square, we have to calculate the strain energy stored in the bar. The total length of the bar is given 100 cm. By looking at the question, we can get the clear idea that the middle portion is smallest portion. So we are giving small cross section on the middle portion. At the middle portion, we are having 1 cm square area. And for the remaining 95 cm length, we are having the cross section area of 2 cm square. For the middle portion, I am going to keep as 1. For the other two portions, I am keeping as 2. In this problem, first we are going to make the unit conversions. I am going to convert everything in terms of meter. We have already given numbers to the sections. The middle portion we have kept as number 1. So, so in this portion, I will be having L1, A1 and Sigma1. L1 is 5 cm. We need to convert into meter. 1 cm is equal to 1 by 100 meter. So 5 by 100, we will be getting 0 0.05 meter. The remaining portion we are keeping as L2. Here we are having 47.5 and on the right side we are having 47.5. So totally 95 cm. Otherwise 100 minus 5 we will be getting the same 95 cm. So 95 by 100 we will be getting 0 0.95 meter. Then we need to convert the areas. The middle portion the area is given 1 cm square. So A1 is equal to 1 cm square. We need to convert it. We know that 1 cm is equal to 1 by 100 meter. If we wanted to convert 1 cm square into meter square, it will be 1 by 100 square meter square. We can do that for A1 and A2. Here we are having the area of 1 cm square. So 1 by 100 square we will be getting 1 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. Then A2, the area of the bigger portion already given in the question, 2 cm square. Then we can convert, we are getting 2 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. In this question, the maximum stress is given, that is 150 MN per meter square. Here we will be having doubts, where this stress is applicable. Is it for the first section or for the second section? We know that the stress formula is equal to load by area, that is P by A. This stress value will be more if the area is small. It will be less if the area is high. For the center portion, we are having smallest area. So here the stress will be more. So the maximum stress is only applicable to the center portion. Because we are having the smallest area. If you still do not understand this concept, you can try by yourself. For the second section, we are having the area 2 cm square. So P by 2. For the first section, the area is 1 cm square. That will be P by 1. Now we can see which is higher. P by 2 or P by 1. Here P by 1 will be more. So the maximum stress will be occurring in the middle portion. So we can keep it as sigma 1. Mega means 10 power 6. We can apply here. The Young's modulus is given as 200 giga Newton per meter square. 1 giga is equal to 10 power 9. We can convert. Right now we have converted every values in terms of meter. In the previous videos we have already derived the strain energy formula U is equal to sigma square by 2E into V. Here we are having two different kind of sections. The first one and the second one. So we have to split the formula into two parts. Here it will be sigma 1 and V1. For the second part it will be sigma 2 and V2. We already know the sigma 1 value but we don't know sigma 2. So we need to find out sigma 2. In both of the sections same load is applied on both of the sides. So the load value will be same. We know that stress sigma is equal to P by A, that is load by area, then load is equal to stress into area. I have already told you the load will be same on both of the sections. This is the concept we are going to apply here. So sigma 1 into A1 is equal to sigma 2 into A2. 
sigma 1, a 1 and a 2 are already given in the question. We can apply. Finally, we can get sigma 2 that is 75 into 10 power 6 Newton per meter square. Now, we can apply in the strain energy formula. We have calculated sigma 2. We can apply. Here, we need to calculate volume. The volume formula is area into length. The area for the big section is given 2 cm square and the smaller one is uh, 1 cm square. B1 will be equal to 5 cm into 1 cm square. But we have already converted into meter. So we can apply in terms of meter 1 into 10 power minus 4 into 0 0.05. For the second section, here we are having 47.5, here also 47.5. So totally we will be having 95 cm. The 95 cm we have already converted into meter 0 0.95 and the area is here 2 cm square. That also we converted into meter square 2 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. After making the calculations, we are getting strain energy U is equal to 2.953 Newton meter. 1 Newton meter will be equal to 1 joule. So we can write in terms of joule also. In the question, we have been asked to calculate the strain energy. Now we have got it. This is the result of this problem. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.